In this video, I will be showing you guys how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to create this awesome looking and unique animated subscribe button for your own YouTube channel, super easy in step by step. So if you wanna do it, keep watching. Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new tutorial here on my YouTube channel Nemo TV, where I post video editing tutorials and lots of cool stuff that are gonna help you to grow your YouTube channel. So if you're into any of those, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications today. And as I promised to you, in this video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to create this awesome looking subscribe button for your own YouTube channel, which is gonna help you to grow faster and convert those viewers into subscribers. And before we get started, I have a good news for you. So below in the descriptions, I've included a free file, 100% free file that you're gonna download. And that file contains all of the images that you're gonna need for this project, as well as the sound effects. And it's not all, it's not finished yet. I've also included the ready to use project that you're gonna open it using your Adobe Premiere Pro and all you need to do is to change your name and profile picture. So you have two choices. You can do it from scratch, which is what I'm gonna do right now, or you can just download that, replace the profile picture and the channel name and just import it to your video. All right, so what are we waiting for? Let's open our Adobe Premiere Pro and start this tutorial. All right, first I'm gonna open my Adobe Premiere Pro, just choose a name for my project, select where to save it and just, I hit okay. Once the project is ready, I just go to assembly and over this area, I just right click, go to new item and create a new sequence. All right, I'm gonna create this animation in 4K with the highest resolution, but you can, we can always resize and do any type of size that we want. So I just create a 4K project I name my sequence, let's say fancy subscribe and I hit OK. All right, over this space, I just right click because I wanna import the image files that you downloaded. So I go to import and if you download that file, you're gonna see a PNG folder. I just go to that and select all and then just click on open. And then we wait for the images to be imported. All right, now I'm gonna drag and drop the back over here on my timeline, I just adjust my zoom over the timeline, all right? Now we need to adjust for how long we want to have this animation going on. I would suggest seven seconds, so I just drag. In the next step, I drag and drop my profile picture on top of the back.png file, which we just did, and then I go to editing, effect controls, and I wanna adjust the position and the scale of this. So I make some adjustment on the scale, I make it smaller, uh, just remember, you can do it the size that you prefer. This is how I do it, but you can change the location or anything. I zoom in, so it's gonna be easier for me to make the adjustments. I make it a little bit bigger. You, know, you can use the position to make it left, right, top, bottom. You can just move it wherever you want. And then I go to opacity and I create a circular mask. And then I use these uh, points to adjust and have a perfect circle you have to do it manually because i haven't found like a, an easy way to do it, it like a circle once it's done i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger to make sure uh, all the details of my picture are visible now what i need to do is to extend the position to where i want it to be finalized so i want it to be on top I just move it over there. I mean, you can put it wherever you want, as I mentioned before, but I'm gonna move it to the top in the center. So I adjust my Y axis. Okay. Make sure it's center. All right, now I need to make sure this shows up as long as my whole project, which is seven. And then I drag and drop the red subscribe, which is before they click on it, over there on top of the, uh, my profile picture. I go to the beginning of my video and then I just put it where I want it to be, which is right here, I would say. And then I go down and drag and drop the pointer. Okay. And now I click on my pointer over the timeline. Okay, I make it smaller. 
and then I just zoom out to ensure I see everything. And then I just extend the time duration of these elements. I go editing effects control while I have the pointer selected. I go to the beginning and I create a keyframe uh, for my uh, pointer. I just move it out and I click on keyframe and then I just hit space or just hit play for a second and then I move it to my screen. I bring it back inside and move it over the subscribe button. I move it where I want over the subscribe and then I hit play again. Let it be played. I create a keyframe because I want the cursor to stay there for a second and then what I do, I want to click on subscribe and change the color of it to gray. So I delete the parts that are after where I am right now and I go over there and I drag and drop the gray subscribe button right there. So the cursor comes out, I click and then it changes color. Now I right click on the red one, I copy, I right click on the gray one, I paste attribute, I make sure motion is selected and then I click on OK. So now it moved down to exactly where the red one was. So if I play it now, it goes over there, click, and now we have the gray one. Now we need to make some adjustments on the location of the subscribe button. So it slides to the left and the bell shows up on the right side. So I zoom in so I make sure I see everything. And then I click on my subscribe because I want to animate it. So over there from effects control, I create a, a keyframe on this position and I let it be played for a second and then I slide it to the left and then it's going to automatically create a keyframe. Make sure your subscribe button is selected, the gray one. Okay, now that I have the keyframe, I select these top three and move them one track to the up and then I drag and drop my bell below these layers to make sure it's uh, gonna be hidden beneath the subscribe button in the meantime. Then I select my bell, I go to editing effects control and adjust its location so it's right beneath on the right side of my uh, subscribed button, the gray one. I move over here and at this time I'm gonna click on bell, I'm gonna just uh, change its location to make sure it's not shown yet yet. I create a keyframe on position. I let it be played and that slides to the left. And now I move it to the right to make sure it slides to the right when the subscribe has a slide to the left. So I zoom out. Now if I play it, click, slide to the left and the bell is gonna slide to the right. Super easy. I mean, if you're confused, just play, play it back again. Now I click on my pointer. I want the pointer to move to the right over the bell. So I click over there. I create a keyframe to make sure it's there. And now I move it to the right. And okay, the keyframe is selected. And let it be played and create another keyframe. After I click on the bell, I want these tiny little things to show up on top of it. So I don't change the time on my timeline. I stay there. I drag and drop it over there. And I just change its position from editing effects control. And I just make sure it's on top of the bell. So now what's going to happen if I go from the beginning, the cursor points and clicks on subscribe and then it moves to the bell and that shows up. This is awesome. This is great. This is exactly how we want it. So if you're confused, just play it back again, follow along and you should be all set. And now after I click on that, I want the cursor to move out. So I click my, on my pointer and just change its position to outside of my screen. Now if I play it from the beginning, the pointer shows up, clicks, stays, and right here I want to add a sound effect, okay? I want a click sound. So I right click over here, uh, this is going to be open. The sound effects are already included in the file that you downloaded. Just import all three of these sound effects. I want a click sound. So when I click on this, I want a click sound. So I double click on the click, I drag it here. Mark in, click on mark in, when it starts, and when it's done, mark out, and then drag and drop this exactly where the color is changed, which is right here. So if I, yes. So drag, just make sure it's happening at the right time, and then when I click on the bell, I drag and drop the exact same file over here. And now, 
uh, I want a ding sound after it clicks on the bell. So I double click on the ding, mark in, mark out, and drag and drop it after the click sound. Now if I play it from the beginning, click, slide to the left, bell slide to the right, click, those show up, you have the click and ding ding. And let me just drag and drop it a little bit longer. Yeah, it has an echo, so I, want, I don't want to miss that. All right, so now in this step, I select all of these. I want to create a nest. Right click, nest. Just I'm just going to go with the same name. Now what I want to do, I want to be able to resize, move, do whatever I want with this. So I don't want to have all of these elements selected one by one. I have the nest. I go to editing. I select my nest, and you see... Over here, I can adjust the size, I can adjust the location, I can put it on the right side, on the left side. Now, go to effects, look for transfer, drag and drop it over your nest, and then go from effects, effect control. You see on the top left side, let me just make some space. Over here, just scroll down, you have the transform added to the section. So, we are going to work with the position over here, okay? So, make sure the nest is selected. All right, make sure you are in the beginning of the video and just move, move it outside the screen. I'm gonna do it at the bottom, create a keyframe, let it be played for a second and then move it back. You just use this to move it back. I'm just gonna drag and bring it back. Now what I do, I go to the end, I create another keyframe and move it out. So I want it to slide up, stay there and when it's done, slide down again. You see, dumb, click, ding slide down okay now what i'm gonna do is i want to create a pop sound effect when it's sliding up i'm gonna use no 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 yeah no yeah this one click on it mark in let it be played mark out drag and drop it in the beginning and one at the end when it slides down so now if i play it Now it's gonna pop. All right, now let's say I wanna have my channel's name over here, okay? What I do, double click on the nest, so the details are gonna open. You see the back? So I'm gonna just, from edit effects, effects control, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit uh, higher. I change my Y axis, right? Yeah, to just make some space and make it look better. And then I just uh, make my timeline section larger. So I click here, I hold control T, to create a text layer and I just go up you see I'm just gonna type in my channel's name here so I just make sure it covers all of the times and then I just zoom in so I can see I'm just gonna uh, select the type tool and then go over it and select it all Control a or just select it Nemo TV and then I go from effects control while I'm selecting my text layer I just scroll down to text I can choose my font size, font family, the style, everything. I'm just gonna do a Tahoma like bold. Uh, I, I will change that later. So let's just bring it center. I bring it to the left. Yeah, this is great. Let me just make it bold. So it's gonna look better. Okay, this is great. I think I have to bring it to the left a little bit. So I just go up, change my uh, X axis. Okay, this is this is looking great. So if I just zoom out, let's see. That's great. All right, we're done. Now, let's say you've created this animated project uh, like as a standalone. So you just save it as a project. And now you have a video, you have a new project and you, you're not gonna do this every time. You just wanna have a ready to use subscribe button. You can make some minor changes once in a while and now you want to just drag and drop it over your new project and use it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I have my Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a brand new project. I'm just going to type in new project and then I just hit OK. Let's say this time I have a 1080. I created an animation 4K, but let's say I want to create a 1080 sequence. So this way I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments on the size and everything. So I choose a name for sequence. I just import one of my random videos from uh, previous tutorials. I just drag and drop uh, like six or seven seconds. Yeah, it has to be like around seven, seven seconds of it. I just keep existing. This is 4K, so I'm gonna just select it. Go to effect editing effects control. Just 
type 50 person so it downsizes to 1080 and now i'm gonna open the project of my subscriber so i just go to that direction i have it right here and see subscribe i just open the project that we just created together i just select make sure you select them all okay you select them all and just drop it here so right now i didn't copy paste the pop sound effect but when you're doing it just select it all video. so we need to make it smaller so what i do i select the nest that i just dropped over here i go to editing effects control and over the scale i just type in 50 percent and it's going to be exactly how it's supposed to be if you want to make it larger like uh, smaller put it any side in this video i will be You're showing good. you guys how to edit your photos to social that's great guys congrats now you know how to create this awesome animated subscribe button for your own youtube channel using adobe premiere pro and you know how to reuse this over your new projects so you're all good all set just use it in your projects and let me know below in the comments if you have any questions while doing this for your own so if you guys find value in the videos that i'm posting on my youtube channel and you enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up please like this video if you haven't already subscribed and turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified when I'm posting another useful video which you're going to be implementing in your YouTube channel. Don't forget, download the file that I've included on my Google Drive below in the description so it includes the ready-to-use project if you're lazy or you get stuck like in part of the project and you need that. And I've included all of the image files, all of the sound effects that you're going to need. So download it start doing it as i mentioned if you have any questions please let me know and until the next video mochless